you are listening to the Headhunting Housewives podcast with your recruiter, Diane O'Brien, episode number 72. Good morning, Headhunting Housewives. It is the last Monday of June. It is so beautiful outside. This is summer, I think, at its best when it first starts. And we're in the week of 4th of July. I think that's one of my favorite weeks of the summer. I'm wondering how many of you are trying to hopefully have taken this week off if you're not already off all summer and just looking forward to enjoy it with your family and friends. Um, We're on this little island off of Virginia at the house that we have down here that um, on an island my grandparents found uh, shortly after coming to this country many, many years ago. And my family and I still love it. And it's so almost like a secret, it feels like, in many parts of the world to where um, it's not very well known. And it's just so beautiful and peaceful. There are still wild horses that run on the beaches. And you can still find a little part of the beach in the Atlantic Ocean where aren't there aren't many people around you. It's just really gorgeous. But the best part is just having all the family come and have fun here. Um, so we have my husband's family flying out this week. And a lot of my family, my sister and brother, will be down to the same area they loved coming to the island as well. So um, I'm just talking to you instead of my typical sunroom um, home in Philly. You're hearing me today from Virginia and uh, just hope you all are getting the mindset of enjoy- enjoying a great 4th of July as well. But what I wanted to talk to you about today is I've been thinking a lot about all of you housewives that are brand new to headhunting that want to become a headhunting housewife, that have heard about headhunting, or, you know, it's called recruiting, corporate recruiting, executive recruiting, headhunting, sourcing, right? That's the beginning of it all is when you're just sourcing the people and interviewing and hiring, right? This is all part of becoming or, um, you know, part of a headhunting housewife's job. And for you out there that are brand new, that's often, um, I have my most fun, I think, teaching you all headhunting and just making sure it's, first of all, the career for you. So always kind of go through really making sure to find out why you want to become a headhunter um, and before you dive in and learn the work. I mean, we can teach you how to become a headhunter pretty quickly. You know, my book, Work From Home Headhunter, would teach you within 10 weeks, within, you know, which is basically three months, give me a little time for breaks. Um, within 90 days, you can learn to be a headhunter too, right? But you want to really make sure it's why, the why you want to do it, make sure it's what you want to do, understand the time commitment into learning headhunting and and you know what you want to do with it. If that means you want to go become just a corporate headhunter and work for someone else, which is fine. I can teach you this and you can learn enough about it to where you can then go get a job at headhunting. In fact, we find women, uh, help women find jobs as sorcerers or recruiters um, if you're brand new. Um, or many of you, I know like the idea of starting your own business. So you're really kind of jumping in and you figure it out. Um, and what's great about headhunting is no matter what industry you've come from, people are hiring in that industry. And right now in June of 2021, the hiring is going like crazy. It's fantastic. Um, it's lovely to see just all the jobs right now and how the market has turned from when you know COVID hit over a year ago to where there were so many job losses. Um, you know, there was always opportunity, obviously it felt like, and we didn't really miss a beat in hiring. Um, but right now, just for the masses, there's a lot of hiring going on. So it's a great time to become a headhunter if you're considering that. And again, for you, um, women out there that really are just learning about it, um, maybe, you know, you were referred my way. All my favorite clients, especially on the corporate side are always referrals, but the same has become true now on the, um, the training side, the mentee side, when I'm working with people to teach them about headhunting. Um, if you're referred, that's always, I feel like my favorites because that means someone believed in what I've done for them helping them or have heard from me through the grapevine or read the book or listened to the podcast. And, um, I love those referrals. So please let me know when you're a referral. I just love, you know, reading about that and where that came from or how you found me. Um, but in thinking about, you know, that you're going into the 4th of July, you're gonna have time with family. You're now thinking, let's say about becoming a headhunter, you know, where do you start? Um, what's it going to feel like? I just want you to know that, you know, you're not alone. I don't want you to be scared to make that jump that many of us before you have done it. And so I love the idea of always offering myself as an example, you know, that was more years ago, 
But, um, you know, through the years, women that had never done headhunting before, um, and men, you know, that then jumped into recruiting and love it and never looked back. I get emails still from people that I help become recruiters. My favorite, favorite story is the first recruiter that I helped learn headhunting. And that was my nanny, Melissa, all those years ago here. My kids are in college, but when I started my recruiting business and was working from home, um, you know, I had my nanny help me all those years. And then When my kids were in school and I no longer needed someone at the house full time, she decided she wanted to learn headhunting and she was worried about what she'd do next as a job anyway. She didn't really have a college degree yet and she saw what I did from a distance when I'd go into my office doors and she could hear me interviewing people for jobs and just thought it was the coolest job and it gave all this freedom and I'll never forget, you know, she was pregnant and actually had a baby at that time and I hired a nanny for my nanny, you know, to watch her baby so that I could teach her recruiting. And it took about three months. The same, I take, I took her through now kind of what I, the program I have and teaching all of you within 10 weeks or 90 days, three months, however you look at it, a season, right? Pick fall or spring and you basically learn how to become a headhunter and you work on real jobs with me. You can practice on them in the summer when I'm taking my break. And, um, and that way on your resume, you have a real company with a real job that you work to get uh, whatever job you want. She went the corporate route. So she was able to take the training she learned with me and hiring she did with me and then go right into a corporate position. And she's doing very well. And and there's other women too. I'm thinking of a woman in New York that I helped teach about recruiting that's now a recruiter for Google. You know, what's nice is um, nowadays on LinkedIn, you can see where everybody is, right? And what they're doing, the success. So it's not blurry or hazy or cloudy in the old days. You know, you would hear about things. You're not really sure is that true or this true. But hey, when people give referrals, you can look up, like I think about my Melissa on LinkedIn, right? And and I can share, she's been a great referral. I think she's actually on my LinkedIn referrals. Um, or Lisa, who I think also gave me a great referral like on LinkedIn uh, out of New York, who is now um, a Google headhunter. And and she might, I think, actually have her own business as a contractor for them, which I know a lot of you want to learn how to do. Um, so what's nice is check people out, whether you decide to go into headhunting and you want to learn through me or you find another mentor you want to study under, you can check out their background, their history on LinkedIn. And for you ladies that, you know, maybe you've come out of raising your kids for 20 years and you're not even on LinkedIn, don't worry about that. I mean, we've helped you as well. The first step I, I often tell you, and you'll see this when I do my private emails, my private podcast um, to the groups of ladies that, you know, just want to learn headhunting and are brand spanking new is I'll say, Hey, get on LinkedIn. I'll be your first connection. And that's fine. Cause I have a lot of connections on there so that can help you, um, grow your LinkedIn base. So use me as a resource. That's what I'm here for. Um, it's so the first thing you want to do ladies, if you're brand new to it and you're trying to figure out, you know, about this headhunting thing is get on LinkedIn. Um, you can connect to me on there and, um, start getting your way because, LinkedIn will be a huge resource that you'll use as a recruiter at any levels in any industry. Um, You're going to be using that. You'll use other tools as well, but LinkedIn has come a long way. and It's one of my favorite resources, especially for my executive headhunters. Um, It's my favorite tool to use and there's the right way to use it. You can spend all day wasting your time on LinkedIn, just like any other platform. You have to know exactly how to use it what's worth the paid and what's not when you use the free, when you have to go to paid. And I kind of help you with all that. So you're not wasting money and time. Um, so just know again, if you're a newbie, don't worry, you'll learn all of this in a step-by-step program. Um, I always say again, before you spend a dime, you listen to some podcasts, read the book. I have the book work from home headhunter, how to become a six figure headhunter in six, 10 weeks. (laughs) It's been so long, I forget my own title. Um, 10 weeks to six figure success. That's what it was. So check that out. That's the first step, reading the book and see, you know, what is headhunting? What's it going to look like? And I have all the different templates and formats in there. I'll connect you to actual um, online tools when you work with me. So you can actually have all that on your computer, not just in a book. Um, but, you know, take the free route and get everything or inexpensive like a book or free podcast. Listen to my podcast 
find other recruiting podcasts, other recruiter books, just absorb everything you can for a while, you know, to make sure you really want to do it. And then if you know you want to do the work and jump in, then you got to commit, right? Then it's going to be a few months. It's going to be 90 days. I mean, there's not many things you can do in life without a 90 day commitment. I feel like if you're going to work out, you know, give it 90 days and whatever you're going to do. I mean, I guess a habit is formed and they say 17 days. Um, so, but if you're really going to practice something, you have to do it a bit longer. And in recruiting, you can learn, you can source in 30 days, in two weeks, I've taught people how to become a sourcer. And if you just want to become a sourcer and stop there and only ever do the research side of recruiting, you can learn that honestly in a couple of weeks and be good to go. Um, but to really see your success, but no, you really have to stick it out the 90 days because you won't even see if those people, you know, were hired. So you might source someone great and you did your job, but remember in recruiting, it's not until that person is hired that that's a successful placement. So as a sourcer, you can research and find great people, but, um, you know, most of our business models, we don't get paid until they get hired. Um, if you're the sourcer, even if you're retained recruiter, when you're hiring sourcers, the sourcers often may not get paid if, um, until their person's hired unless they're on a retainer as well, which, you know, you'll learn all about. Uh, you can be hourly, you can be contingent, you can be retained. There's all kinds of ways to kind of find deals uh, in headhunting. Um, so it's a good commitment though, and it's a nice time frame. I mean, and it's fun and you're not alone. And the beauty of all of this now is it's all virtual. You can do virtual sourcing, virtual recruiting, you know, from anywhere in the world and work with clients anywhere in the world. A lot of the candidates or I'm sorry, a lot of the clients that I work with, um, they're local cause that's how I met them, but they're looking for sourcers and recruiters, you know, all over the country, especially nationally. I don't do a lot of hiring outside the country for uh, recruiters. Um, so, but anywhere in the country, you know, you can be, um, looking to get into this and there's a little, you know, a little, um, firm in outside of Philadelphia that's just looking for new sourcers. And if they know you're well-trained, which we do train you well, <laughs> and you'll learn how to find somebody. And the proof and the pudding in that is that you don't, it's not like a school, like I said, where you come out with some kind of diploma or you're certified here, you're now a sourcer or here, you're now a recruiter. I think the best way to prove that you are that is that you've done that successfully. So by the time you leave working with us here with Head Honey Housewives, you've sourced successfully or you've interviewed successfully or you've hired successfully. So therefore you are the thing you were looking to become. You are now a sourcer. So that's the beauty of this because if you're just now thinking about it, you know that within that 30, 60, 90 days, you can then become that because you actually learned the job, you practiced the job, you did the job, and you and you successfully placed somebody. And that makes you now, you know, um, become what you were looking to become. So I just want you to know that that's very possible at all levels, no matter where you are. I've spent a lot of time, I think this past month, um, reflecting on my COO searches and all my retained work I've done and and talking about how the recruiters that have been in it for a while now want to go contingent to retained. I just don't want you all listening to the podcast that um, are just still thinking about recruiting and know nothing really about the industry and are starting at square one to feel intimidated because we all had to start somewhere. And um, you also can kind of start within, again, that 30, 60, 90 days, be up and running, and then you just practice it month to month until you get better and better. And then, you know, you are what you set out to be. So um, it's fun to kind of watch you on that journey and become what you set out to become. So always hang in there. It is a little tough, but when you have the support and the guidance of like other headhunters and housewives, it really makes all the difference to get you to your goal. So that's the whole point of all of this. So I'm going to keep this short today because I have family members waking up in the house and everyone's in vacation mode. Um, so listen, have a great week. Have a great 4th of July. Um, you know, stay focused on your dreams wherever you are right now. And if you are taking this summer to think about what the next dream should be, you know, think about what you want to do and start in September, right? That's my great time to kind of think about fall is coming. So put everything in place, maybe start dabbling in something this summer or thinking about it and really, you know, whether you pray about it or think through it and just kind of have that perfect vision for who you want to be, what it's going to feel like, what it's going to look like, the kind of maybe money you can make, the lifestyle you'll have how you can help and provide for your family through this new dream of yours. It's exciting. And I can promise you headhunting can check off a lot of those boxes. I wouldn't be sitting in this beach house today 
if it wasn't for headhunting and recruiting. And I've done it from home all my life. Um, I've done stunt stints in, you know, um, travel and, and going to corporate when wanted, but you can always do it virtually from home. And that's been 98% of my experience. So just know you can make your dream, whatever you want it to be. If you want to be in the office, we can do that for you. If you want to be home, it's easy with recruiting. So, okay. I'm going off on tangents. Have a great, great 4th of July. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. Hey, if you've enjoyed listening to this podcast, you have to come join us over at headhuntinghousewives.com. It's completely free to join. We're there to offer you guidance, support, inspiration. And when you're ready to go a little bit deeper, we're starting a mentorship program in 2Q. If that's for you, you have to email me at hello at headhuntinghousewives.com and let me know who you are and how I can help. Again, that's hello at headhuntinghousewives.com. And I look forward to seeing you there.